Well, we're getting to the point in the restoration with this FJ40 that it's time to get some new tires for it. The tires that you see here, they're, they've been sitting in, in the sun for about 10 or 12 years without anybody driving on them, so the rubber is really old and hard. And uh, so we're going to need new tires. Now you can see it's got the original steel wheels and not, uh, not something fancier. And I want to keep them because of the, I want to keep the vintage look and I want to keep these uh, vintage hubcaps too. So um, one of the things I've had trouble with with steel wheels is them getting bent in the, bent over the years, especially in off-road off vehicles. Um, they're kind of easy to bend. And uh, so before I put new rubber on them, I want to see if they're bent. And uh, one way to do this is with a dial gauge. I've got it sitting on a piece of um, steel and a concrete block holding it down. I've kind of set it all up for you. I'm just going to do one here so that you can see how the process goes. I'm going to measure what's called lateral runout, which is the wobble left and right. And um, I've got the dial gauge set up and it's set, it's showing about uh, on 10 right there. And we want to run it, I'm going to run it till you see the tire weights come around again. And we're going to count how many 10s go by. So there's 10. 20, 25 roughly, and it's not a real precise measurement, but it'll be good enough for this. Maybe that was 30. Now it's coming back, and there comes the wheel weight, and it's down to about zero, so I would call this a run out of about 040, which... Um, in general, that's kind of acceptable. Anything less than 0 .050 is considered okay for a steel wheel. Alloy wheels can run a lot truer than that. But um, that's actually a pretty good number. So I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to set this up for the uh, radial run out, and we'll do one more test on this wheel. Okay, we're set up to uh, measure the radial run out on this wheel here. I'm going to do kind of the same thing. I, this is the change in radius. I'm going to run from wheel weight to wheel weight and see what we get. So that's already about 30, 40, close to 50, 050, and then coming back down again. O five five O six O. Yeah, it's like we got about 0 0.060. That's a little larger than I'd want to see, but it's really not a bad number. Um, I've gone and measured all of them. Uh, you haven't seen it, but I, I did the same thing on all four wheels, and I got roughly the same numbers about between 0 0.040 and 0 0.060 on everything, which I think is probably good enough. This isn't a high-speed vehicle. It doesn't go fast, and these wheels are pretty close to acceptable, so I'm going to go ahead and use them. But I thought I'd document it because it's been a problem for me in the past.